Origami makes it easy to assign things to your users based on their workload. Now I say things because at Origami, we don't like to build features that do just one thing. We like to build features that are generic because our clients constantly surprise us with the innovative ways they use these features. One obvious thing you might want to assign would be assigning claims to adjusters or assigning inspections to your inspectors or whatever. So let's take a look. So first, let's look at our users because you're assigning things to users. One of the things you can do to make setting this up a little easier is to define teams for your users. Here you see this company has been fortunate enough to hire the entire adjuster family, Joe, Mary Sue, Bill, Sam, Betty Ann, Molly, and Francisco, as well as the inspector twins, Joe and Fred. The adjuster team is handling claims. We've got a lot of comp claims, so we've got two different teams for the East, east region and the West region, and we've got another team just for liability claims, but all over the country. So now let's look at the round robin groups. In administration, I go to round robin assignment. This is where you define your various assignment strategies. We'll talk about the claim assignments first. This is an already defined round robin assignment group. So you see, this applies to claims. It has a name. You get to decide what field you are setting. This can be any user field on the thing that we are assigning, in this case, a claim. So obviously we want to set the adjuster user in this case, but you can see how flexible this could be. Then you define a user filter to say which users are part of this pool for this assignment. And then you decide what is their caseload, what determines how busy they are. Well, in this case, it's pretty easy. You got open claims assigned to you, that's how busy you are. So for this, it's got workers comp claims and the status is not closed. That's your caseload. And some clients track out of office in origami. So origami can be slick enough to, if, if one of the users is out of the office, assign things to their backup. In this case, we're chaining our adjusters to their desks. They're not allowed to take vacation, so we're just skipping that part. The next section identifies what data entry events this round robin assignment group is being used for. I'm going to show you that last. Below that, you see the users that are in this set. This is the users that you get back from that filter above. And again, this is, we'd set this up based on user teams, so it's easy. We got Betty Ann, Bill, and Sam. And it shows right here, based on the caseload filter, how busy they are right now. So as you can see, Bill must have just closed a bunch of claims. So the next open workers' comp claim in the East region should go to him. Let's take a quick look at editing this. It's really quite simple to define. What field are we assigning? Who are the users in the set? And what defines their caseload? And whether you chain them to the desk or not. So here's the West region group. Looks very much the same. Just the user filter is different. The caseload filter is, is exactly the same. Open workers comp claims. And you see we got Joe, Mary, and Sue. And looks like Joe has the lightest workload at the moment. And finally, liability claims. We only have two. Molly and Francisco, and it's pretty close. They've got a pretty similar caseload. Looks like Molly will get the very next assignment. So how do these assignments work? Let's go back to the East Region Comp Group. In Origami, you define a data entry event, just like every other data entry event that drives emails and tasks and notes and what have you. It will also drive round robin assignment. This shows you that I already have an event that's using this round robin assignment. So let's just take a look at it. I could go to admin data entry events and find it that way as well, but this saved me a couple of clicks. So here's the data entry event. It's very simple. It triggers when the claim is added and when the coverage is any of the liability coverages that we're tracking or comp. Well, wait a minute, I had different groups for the different coverages. What's up with that? A single event can trigger multiple round robins that will be filtered based on the coverage, the region, the location, whatever. So let's take a look at these actions. So you see three round robin assignment actions at the very top. And I'll take the East Region one. So this says when this action fires, we're going to apply the Workers Comp East Region round robin assignment group. We're going to look at that caseload and give this to the user with the lowest caseload. 
based on the filter, coverage is equal to workers' comp, and the location folder is central division or east division, because we give the central and the east to the east coast and the west to the west coast. So that's it. You can define this filter as complicated as it needs to be. You know, you might have one of those situations where the Des Moines location is treated as west coast for historical reasons. That would be easy to do if we needed to add that because even fictitious companies have weird historical flukes. Now this applies to the Central and East Division except for the wacky Des Moines location. Simple. So that's it. That's the East Region one. Let's look at the West Region one. It's the exact same thing except the filter is for the West Division and I guess now I have to add Des Moines since I took it away from the other one. So now this action will fire for the West Division and Des Moines. And the liability claim action fires for brand new auto, GL, or professional liability claims. Simple. And because this is an event that can have lots of actions, we got more things going on. We'll also send an email that the new claim came in and it was, in, and it was assigned. And we'll send it to the adjuster user, which is what was just set by the round robin assignment. So how does this work in practice? Let's enter a claim. Okay, so this is a new comp claim. I just filled out as little information as possible, but the important things are it's workers comp and it's in Des Moines, just to show that funny exclusion. So what happens when I save the claim? Origami fires the event, which in this case fires for the West Coast group because the Des Moines, Iowa location was included in the West Coast group. As you'll recall, Joe Adjuster had the lightest caseload, so he was assigned as the adjuster user. He just got an email that the claim was assigned to him. So that's claim assignment. What if we want to assign an inspector for location inspections? So here we're back at the round robin assignments, and we set up one for facility inspections. Let's take a look at it. The filter, the user team, are those inspector twins. Joe and Fred. And in this case, our caseload is just we track the next inspection scheduled date on the location, but we kind of leave it there, so maybe it happened five years in the past. Caseload in this case is any inspection scheduled date that's after today. That's how many they have coming up. So it looks like Fred only has one coming up, Joe has two, so the next one's going to Fred. Let's look at the data entry event. This is on a new facility inspection. Now this doesn't have to just be when a location is added, because this you do inspections all the time. Could be when it's edited, but we want to fire this when the inspection schedule date has changed and it's after today. And the same things happen. We've got a round robin assignment using the assignment group we created. And in this case, there's no filter. It's on any, any location as long as the inspection date was set to be in the future. And similarly, we're going to send out an email to let Joe or Fred know who's got it. So what does that one look like? Well, we're picking on Des Moines, so let's, let's take a look at the Des Moines location. And you can see there was an inspection scheduled eight years ago. I think they're due. So if we say Des Moines needs to be inspected, say, by February 1st of next year, that's it. You see this inspector field, that's who gets it, but it's blank. I click Save Changes, and you see the inspector has been set to Fred, and an email has been sent out. That's how easy it is to assign workloads based on round-robin assignments in origami risk.